Syracuse Orange are now with us. We have um, Michael Benege and Trevor Cooney. Head coach Jim Beheim will open up with a statement on this game, and then we'll go to questions for all three gentlemen from Syracuse. Jim, please. I thought that the this just like the last game, we, we had 11 turnovers in the first half of the last game. We weren't, weren't settled offensively. The uh, same thing tonight, we had three offensive fouls and seven, seven turnovers. And I thought the second half, we just got our offense under control and we executed. And, uh, you know, Mike knocked down a, a couple really hard shots and it got us a little space. And then I thought, uh, you know, Tyler, our, our, our inside guys got something <laughs> happening inside, which we haven't gotten too much. And, uh, and, and our defense was, was good the whole game. Start right here. Coach, uh, six ACC teams in the Sweet 16. What does it say about the conference? Well, we know it was a hard conference. We were in it all year. And, uh, you know, when we played outside the conference in a, in a tournament, we had some success. Uh, and uh, we struggled in the conference for the most part because we were playing, you know, playing good teams, you know, really good teams. And um, it's hard to judge a conference during the year. I mean, it's, you know, it, it is hard. And you can't go just by the NCAA tournament, but I think you have to go a little bit by what the team, what conference do in the tournament. You know, that's, and that's the only thing we have to judge on uh, because during the regular season, they're just, you know, playing within your conference. It's hard to tell. You know, you're just proving that you're good within your conference. But um, I, I think that uh, the tournament is a good measuring stick. It's not everything, but it certainly uh, is something you can, can look at as to just how good. I think last year, uh, going into the tournament last year, we weren't, nobody was talking about our conference and Duke won and we had the same kind of level, on not this month, but a high level of success in the tournament both years. So that has to mean something. Right here. Michael, um, it just seemed like you were playing, like you weren't gonna let your team lose. Uh, it, was, it was fun to watch. Can you put into words uh, your mentality and I'm, I'm sure your experience played into it? Uh, I'm just focused on time and possession, looking at the scoreboard, just trying to make sure that, uh, you know, each possession uh, we had the lead. And, um, you know, I just want to come out and compete and try to win. Now that it's over, how much do you think, when you're out there, do you think like, if we lose, this is it? Uh, that doesn't cross my mind. Are you lying to me? I'm telling the truth. On the aisle. Uh, for Jim, you guys end one in five, and now you have two double-digit wins in the NCAA tournament. Has there been a change? And if so, what is it with you guys? Well, we're not playing at North Carolina and at, at Louisville and uh, at Florida State. That's the difference. Played good in those games, too. On the right-hand side. This is for Trevor and Jim. Uh, after everything you guys have been through this season, what's this feel like? Trevor, first, please. I mean, it feels good. I mean, to get into the NCAA tournament feels good, and then to, to win both of these games, I mean, it's unbelievable. We just got to keep it going. I, you know, I think we just have to, you know, make sure we understand that uh, we there's a lot to be done, a lot can be done, a lot of good things can happen, and we have to focus on that the next game and not really look backwards. You know, there'll be time to look backwards uh, someday. Uh, Jim, did, did you think um, Tyler had an extra advantage than usual uh, in the post, and did you go to him more than usual tonight? No, not in the post. You know, we went to him once, and he knocked the guy over, so no. You know, no, we <laughs> – he got a couple quick buckets early, and then uh, they adjusted. And they, you know, everybody's been giving him that jump shot all year. I knew he he's, he made the four free throws, which he hasn't done all year, right in the middle, perfect release. And so I normally I'd be surprised if he makes a jump shot, but the way he was shooting, uh, you know, I'm, Frank surprised me a little bit. I knew we we really aren't going to lose this game if those two guys make a jump shot. That, that would be hard to do. <laughs> Tyler Lydon, you know, he, we, they switched, and so there was mismatches, and, and we looked to get him down in there, and uh, he finished a couple, and then we got Daywan down there, 
to, you know, Michigan State had tremendous success in a low post against them with Costello. We're not that kind of team, but we did get a, a few down there. But, you know, we're not, we can't really change how we play. We did get some there, but it wasn't a focus of what we were doing. I think Trevor and Mike really handled their switch changing defenses. I think that's a key when you're playing against a team that traps, that, you know, switches on everything and then plays, goes back into a 1-3-1 one, one, that turns back into a 2-3. You know, you got to have guards that recognize that and make the right plays, and, and they did. And Frank made a great play in the first half when they went to the 1-3-1, one, throwing the lob pass to Tyler Lydon when we needed it. We needed a bucket there. Uh, again, um, Middle Tennessee is a very good basketball team. Uh, I think they're, they do shoot well, but it's obvious that they're better against a man-to-man -man because they all can drive, and that's a big part of what they do. Um, and again, our zone is a little bit different, and people aren't used to seeing our zone. They see zones, but they don't see the zone the way these guys play it. Uh, so that's always a little bit of an advantage for us when there's just a one-day uh, turnaround. On the aisle. Jim, uh, Kermit was extremely complimentary of Tyler Lydon's defense as well. I mean, what did you see from him in there, and how, how important was he protecting the rim? He, you know, he blocks six shots. I knew he blocked a couple. That's a lot. I thought he was good in there. A couple times in the first half, we didn't get help to him, and they got a couple layups inside. But I thought he did a good job. But I thought day one, we were really better defensively when day one came back in and we had Tyler out there with him. Um, I thought, uh, you know, day one got him a little off balance and then Tyler Lydon's there to rebound the ball in those situations. So I thought that combination was, was very good for a stretch there. Jim, after the handshake line, you came around and talked to Kermit. Just wondering, did you want to seek him out and talk to him a little bit? Yeah, I, I, I just think he's a tremendous coach. I thought that the game against Michigan State, I, I, Tom Izzo is one of the best <laughs> coaches that's ever coached college basketball. And uh, he, ha he, he has a very good team, obviously. And uh, I just thought that Middle Tennessee just, they, they played a perfect game. I mean, you, you have to, for a 15 to beat a two, uh, and a two that plays really well. Um, he's just, he's, I think he's an exceptional coach. I think they do a lot of different things. They change things up and, uh, you know, I just think, uh, you know, he does, he does a great job with his team and uh, I just wanted to tell him that. Left hand side. Hey coach, you know, before, you know, last week, uh, there was all the discussion about the nine games you missed and how that would play into seating. I've seen your past two games. I thought you guys looked very good. And I have to ask bluntly, do you think you were underseated at number 10? No, I mean, I, I was happy to get in. I would have taken a play-in game, you know, because <laughs> we did finish, you know, we lost games at the end. But they were good teams that we lost to. And I think the committee recognized that we won good games. We didn't just play good games. We won good games. And, uh, you know, I mean, we just uh, were, we were happy to be in. Uh, we had a. We knew we would have a tough game with Dayton. They beat us two years ago. They won their league. Um, but when we've played well this year, and particularly when we shot the ball well this year, uh, we've we've been very good. You know, the, the games were a handful of games where we really shot it well. Connecticut, Texas A&M, at Wake Forest, at Duke, uh, Florida State, Notre Dame at home. You know, we we. We beat those teams by all those teams by double digits, uh, except for Duke. Which, if you win at Duke, that's that's good enough. But uh, no, I, I think that's a fair seed. When it's hard to seed today, I watched Stephen F. Austin today. I thought they were one of the best teams I've seen all year. Watching them on TV today, Notre Dame played a, a great game to barely win. They were a little fortunate to win even at the end. Um, but I, I watched I watched them a couple times, and we had played Stephen F. Austin a few years ago. I mean, they're really good, and this team that we played tonight is really good. Um, and you can say that about a lot of teams in college basketball. It's very hard to pick this tournament, and then it's extremely hard to to seed this tournament. I think uh, you know. But the bottom line is, you get in, you you have that opportunity, and you're going to have to beat somebody good. You know, it's as simple as that. And uh, I'm sure everybody thinks that we're happy that Michigan State got beat, but 
this team beat them. So, I mean, it's not like it's, <laughs> you know, going to be an easy game. And uh, I'm just happy the way we're playing. We have played like this this year quite a bit. It doesn't always show up when you're in the, in the ACC because, like, the last games we played, three of them were on the road. And we can't beat Pittsburgh. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't mean we weren't good. You know, we, we, we just couldn't win those games. And if you play in a league like ours and you can win nine games, uh, you know, and you've got some non-conference wins, you know, you're, you're going to get in the tournament. We are halfway through this session. Go here, please. Team, you guys really started to pull away when, when 10 picked up his fourth foul and had to come off the floor. Uh, Who did? 10 for them, their point guard. Yeah, point guard. Um, yeah the difference was when Mike got going, that was the difference. That was the only difference in the game. Mike got, he made two tough turnarounds, nice touches, um, and then he made that corner three, and that really, uh, that was that was it right there. Okay, one second before we go on for any further. We have two questions up. Are either for the student athletes? Either question coming up? Yes? Okay, go. Tre Trevor and Michael, uh, what were your overall thoughts of uh, playing the NCAA tournament here in St. Louis? Michael, first, please. <clears throat> um, after finding out that we got in, uh, that was a big relief for me. And, um, you know, just being a part of the tournament senior year, I think that's an honor. Um, you know, once you win that first game, uh, you get it under your belt, and then you're on to the next game. And uh, just every win is um, a great accomplishment. And, uh, I'm happy for my, for me and my teammates. Yeah, no, I mean, it's an honor to be in the tournament. And then uh, to come to, I mean, St. Louis seems like a pretty cool city. Um, so, I mean, uh, good arena. It's fun to play in. On the right-hand side. Jim, to your point about the ACC and, and seeding, I mean, you see what the ACC's done this year and last year. Is it even tougher <laughs> now than maybe the Big East at, at its peak? Well, you know I'm never going to say that. <laughs> it's a very good conference. There's no question about it. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we, as I've said many, many times, we, we, we came from a great conference and we're in a great conference. And uh, <coughs> it, I think it's going to get better in, a, in, a, in the future, in a, in a, from what I've seen. All the way in the back. Yeah, hi, Mike. I wanted to know, did your eyes light up when uh, Raymond left the game? Did you step on the gas a little bit? Um, I just tried to take advantage of the personnel they had out there. Uh, there was some open lanes I was able to get in. And, um, you know, I had a small guy over me. I was able to elevate and shoot over him. But, um, you know, Raymond's a good player. He played good defense the whole game. Uh, with him going out the game, uh, opened up a little opportunities for me. Anything else for the Orange? All right, gentlemen, thank, thank you. you very much, and best of luck in Chicago.